I'm the educational manager of Trading More and also responsible for the $100,000 trading account, real money account, which we are trading in, yeah, with real trades. And all of our trades are visible in the Slack community. And so every premium member can watch this. Okay, today's topic is oscillators, especially the RSI and the stochastic indicator. But first of all, you know this, I have to say something about the risk warning, disclaimer, and so on. So Trader Moore provides the information here for educational reasons only. If you use them for your own trading with real money, you do so at your own risk. There's no performance guarantee, and this does not constitute financial advice. Yeah, you know this, we need to say this, because of yeah legal reasons yeah today's topic is stochastic so i have a little typo here let me make this correct okay and i yeah i would say so if you have any questions doing a webinar please type it in the chat box i will have an eye on it and then of course i will answer you as soon as possible okay let's start so what is an oscillator in general. So an oscillator is, to be exactly, no indicator. An oscillator are in a fixed range, usually between zero and 100. And in most cases, they have uh, an area of overbought and oversold. Um, in most cases, this is between 30 and 70 or 80 and 20. So this is overbought and oversold but i will show you this for the two indicators or oscillators we want to uh, teach you today in, in in an example of course so in general you can say oscillators are much better in ranging markets facing a support or resistance level so have an eye on support and resistance level which is an, an other concept very very important in trading especially in chart technique and yeah you should be aware of resistance and support levels okay then what is the stochastic indicator or oscillator what does it mean how can you use it for a short trade or a long trade to enter in the market so the stochastic oscillator is an indicator that helps determine and the price of an asset is about to change direction. Very, very important. So it is not a good indicator if you want to have a trend and you want to go with the trend. So for example, you have an uptrend and you want to go long, then the stochastic oscillator or indicator uh, doesn't make any sense for you to use it. Yeah, it makes only sense if you yeah, want to expect um, trend removal or a reversal pattern in the market, for example, facing a support and resistance level. These are the spots where the stochastic oscillator is very, very helpful. It does this by giving signals on whether an asset is overbought or oversold. And if the asset is overbought, it could be due for a reversal to the downtrend. And if oversold, it could be due for a reversal to the upside. Yeah. And now let's have a look how the stochastic indicator is shown in the chart. So this is an example for MetaTrader 4. And of course, maybe you use an other on different a trading platform with your broker then I'm pretty sure, I would say 100% sure that these kind of trading platform also offers you the stochastic indicator. And yeah, you see here, this is the chart with a candlestick chart. Yeah, each candle represents a fixed period of time. And this example here, this M15, each candle represents 15 minutes in time. And below the chart, you see the stochastic indicator. And what does the stochastic indicator do here is, for example, you see the red line. The red line, I have called them here stochastic line. You can also call them the slow line. Because the blue line you can see here, 
moves much more quicker and more sensitive. Yeah, And for this reason, the blue line is your signal line. And now what is important to pay attention to? You see here the area between 100 and 0. And highlighted is here the 20 level and the 80 level. Everything above 80 represents overboard. And everything below 20 represents oversold. And now the thing is, if you are in the overboard section or area and the signal line crosses the slower stochastic line yeah, from above to the downside and everything happens in the overboard area, then you have a sell signal. Yeah, you can see this, for example, with this candle here, or maybe it is this one, not 100% sure here in this example. Then this is a sell signal to go short. Um, yeah, okay, it, it doesn't work really, really good here in this example, but you wouldn't have made loss. Yeah, that's for sure. So if you enter the, the trade here, then the market goes sideways and maybe later on, so this of course is just a little snippet out of a big chart, um, then the market goes down and you would have probably made money. So yeah, this is the signal. So, and of course you can use this for a long entry if both lines are here in the oversold area and the faster moving line, the signal line is crossing the slower stochastic line from the bottom to the top, yeah? And if this happens in the oversold area, then this is a long signal for you. But we have some other potential signals with the stochastic indicator. And I have show you here three. The first one is both lines in oversold or overbought areas, yeah? Going back to this example, so at this point here, both lines are in overboard area and this could be a signal for going short yeah but i would recommend to wait for the crossing yeah it's a much more valuable signal but i just want to say that some traders doing a little bit different and yeah the the second signal could be that the signal line is an oversold and overboard and comes back in the neutral area. What does it mean by that? Let me show you. So just focus on the blue line. This is the signal line. And if the line goes in the overboard area, then we are waiting for crossing the, uh, the 80 level in this example for going short. Yeah, Everything between 20 and 80 is the neutral area. There is the underlying not overbought and not oversold. This is neutral. And the sell signal will be there when the signal line goes below 80. Or the long signal would be if the signal line goes from the oversold signal above 20. Yeah, this could be another um, yeah, workflow for your stochastic indicator. Um, and the third thing is the signal line crosses the slow stochastic line elsewhere. Yeah. So for example, here, here in this example, the fast moving signal line crossing the slower stochastic line. And this here is, of course, a buy signal. Yeah. In this example, it, it would work out. But in general, I wouldn't recommend to use the the last opportunity for working with the stochastic indicator. In general, I can recommend to use this clean and clear signal, both lines in the overbought or oversold signal uh, area, and then the signal line crosses the stochastic line. This is the most cleanest spot, I would say. Uh, this works well with a strong trend. Yes, but then you expect to have a uh, trend um yeah well, how can i say this a reversal trend so an uptrend breaks to and build a downtrend or a downtrend um, ends and creates an uptrend 
this for example. And this is, I come back to this here because it is very, very important. Um, I think, and I'm 100% sure about this, oscillators are much, much better in ranging markets. So I wouldn't recommend to use oscillators or uh, in this specific case, the stochastic indicator in a very strong uptrend or a very strong downtrend, just to speculate on the trend will be broken. Yeah, this is more speculative. So I would say um, looking for a ranging mark and then if this signal here happens in a range and the price is facing a resistance level, this is the absolute perfect spot to enter a trade in the short direction. Uh, I mean, go with a trend? No, absolutely no. Um, I would say this is the worst thing you can do. So for example, if you see an uptrend and then you are waiting, okay, okay, yeah, maybe you're right. So uh, it depends on what, what you are thinking exactly. So I can agree with you. If you have an uptrend and in the uptrend, you see a long signal from the stochastic indicator, for example or you are in a very strong downtrend and then you see this sell signal here, then it works perfectly. Okay, okay, <laughs> then I said nothing, Tristoff, uh, I agree with you. Okay, then let's see what the relative strength indicator, the RSI, and yeah, actually this is also not an oscillator, it is uh, not an indicator, it is an oscillator. So if you be, if you wanna be correct, then it is an, RSO, a relative strength oscillator. Okay, the relative strength indicator is an oscillating indicator that shows when an asset may be overbought or oversold. Yeah, this is the same thing for all oscillators because you have a fixed area in most cases between one, uh, between 100 and zero. And this is the same here for the RSI. The indicator does this by comparing the price action over a period of time, usually 14 periods. And yeah, maybe this is a good spot to say, you can use this kind of indicators and oscillators on each time frame. So an hourly time frame, daily time frame, weekly, monthly, hourly, five minute chart. Yeah, everything is possible. Um, but in most cases, the standard setting is 14 periods. That enables the indicator to show if the price has become unusually high or low. Yeah, show you this is overbought or oversold. As such, it can be used to determine when a current trend may be coming to an end or when a new trend may be forming. And let's have a look here as an example. Here you can see the chart and below the chart is the RSI, Relative Strength Indicator. And here you can see the 70, and the 30 level is marked or highlighted here with the um, dashed line. And it is oversold if the RSI with the period of 14, you can see the 14 here. If the RSI is moving above 70, then it is a signal to sell the underlying. And this example here is the euro uh, dollar chart or the RSI is moving down below the 30 level here, then it is oversold and it is in general a signal to buy the underlying. Yeah? For example, here you would buy it and the market goes up, up again, and then here it is a sell signal. And if you were long before, then of course it's a signal to close the trade yeah, or to switch the trade in the long from a long position to a short position. This is, I think, pretty clear. Do you have any questions regarding the stochastic or RSI indicator? Then please let me know and I will answer you. Okay, no questions. Then I would say, let's have a look at the chart. So for example, here I have 
the euro dollar chart on a daily time frame you can see this here is a daily chart and now i would say let's have the stochastic indicator to have some examples stochastic here we are now you can see here the 20 and the 80 level and the yeah both lines the blue line is the fast moving one and the red line is the slower one because you can see this the blue line reacts more sensitive yeah and let's see how it works in the past for this we have here at this point let me highlight this with the vertical line here uh, let's start here so this wouldn't be a great example yeah it goes up a little bit and then down a lot but of course this is not a guarantee but in most cases it will work out so for example here at this point yeah again the blue line crosses the red line in the oversold area and this is a buy signal and you can see here this was a very very good signal okay let's have another example here at this point yeah maybe you can assume that the blue line crosses the red line so trust me um yeah and this is in the overboard area and this is a short signal and it it works out pretty well uh okay another example is this one here the blue line crosses the red line in the overboard area, and this is a short signal, and this works out again pretty well. Okay, another example here. And the blue line crosses the red line in the oversold area, and this is a buy signal. The market goes up a little bit and then down. Of course, it depends on your money management, where you want to set a stop loss, where the take profit is, and so on. Yeah, this is just the entry signal, not an entire strategy. Okay, next one. Um, this one here is a buy signal. Yeah, not the best spot, I would say, but of course, it's not uh, a gold mining machine. And again, a buy signal and so on and so on. So hopefully you know what I mean with that, and maybe you can play around with some examples in a demo account and use this and, and practice this. And if you have some questions, then of course you can always contact us under um, support at tradingmore.com. Yeah. And if you want to become a premium member, then a lot of courses and a lot of strategies are part of your educational program. And then of course you can contact us on a, on a private way. So we have here some very exciting and interesting discussion channels where you have some cool news, trade ideas, and of course we have also our Signal community. Today we made a lot of trades I see here, so Matthias was very, very uh, busy today. Um, yeah, and you see all our trades here in this community. Okay, some questions, then please let me know. We have so much time you want to have so it depends on your questions if you don't have any questions then this is the end i would say don't be shy ask your questions you have okay no questions okay that's not a problem for me i wish you all a nice evening and yeah see you next week bye guys that was matthias for tradimo